Hello guys, hope you're doing well and welcome to another episode in the ACT and the SAT writing course. Today we're going to talk about the test breakdown and the test taking tips. The SAT writing section contains 44 questions to be answered in 35 minutes. That's about 48 seconds for each question. A bit longer than the 36 seconds of the ACT. Still, it's not a lot of time if you get bogged down in tougher questions. So today we're gonna give you some recommendations to approach this section. Go grab your pen and paper and get ready for today's session. Number one, always take note of the title of each passage, as this will help you to make sense of the passage, comprehend the passage, and answer the main idea questions. Number two, Read the whole passage skimming the areas with no questions and slowing down in the areas that do. Of course, pause to answer the questions as you go along. With practice, you will find there is more than enough time to finish. If you find you are going too slow, start jumping from question to question without reading any parts of the passage in between. Number three, because neither the ACT or the SAT penalize the wrong answers, never leave any question blank. So answer all the questions, even the ones that you don't know. Number four, when it comes in answering questions in context, make sure you read the sentence above and below the spot in question. For a question that asks you to place a sentence in the right place, you will need to revisit the entire paragraph. And these are types of questions that you should bank up your time for. Number five, circle your answers in the text booklet first. Bubble them later. Constantly switching back and forth between the question and the answer sheet throws your mental concentration off balance. You will lose momentum and focus. It's like trying to do your homework while texting with a friend. The last thing I would like to talk about is the technique that you use to answer the passage. Some people prefer to read the passage and then go to the question and answer them, while others prefer to go directly to the questions as they earn points from the questions, not from the passage. Actually, I'm not going to tell you which which technique to use because you are the only one who can decide which one is suitable for you. I recommend you to try both ways and see which one works best for you. Until next time, keep working hard. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Salam alaikum.